Hey guys, Tyler from Brother Man Gaming here with... Hey, it's Mike. How are y'all doing? Did, did a little grinding off screen. And now we're ready to face Satan. Oh, she's not Satan. <laughs> no, no, her, her cow is Satan. No, the next gym, Satan. If you look from this, it's hard to tell in this version, but in the Heart Cold Soul Silver remake, the shaping of all the blocks all over makes it Clefairy. Neato. Did you know that? I remember reading something about it randomly. It's something I didn't know until like years later, but... I didn't know when the games like were first out. Oh, no. Oh, no. So this is the normal type chip. Yay, normal types. We're gonna beat him up. Normal types may not have technically any type advantage other than they can can't be affected by ghost types. Uh, but they can usually learn the most with TMs, isn't it? Yeah, most normal types have like a pretty wide range of TMs they can learn. They're fairly versatile most of the time. Yeah, me as the Clefable in yellow, that was actually a pretty good Pokemon. <laughs> like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Tri Attack, and Sing. We never use Sing, really. But Thunderbolt for a good amount of times, Ice Beam, that good old Tri Attack. I can't remember if we ever got any of the status effects for Tri Attack, but. I never saw any. The Triangles of Dooms we did have. So that, that direction was an entire waste of time. Kind of fun. I think you were more just concerned about getting all the trainers. Well, I was just seeing what was over there, and I could have got the trainer from the idol, but it's kind of funny that they set it up like that, and they just completely block you off. Come on, Victoria. All the trainers are females in here. So or at least sexist. I'm pretty sure. It definitely wasn't Gen 1. I don't know about it. It'd be Gen 1. Er, the gold, and yeah. gold, silver. You know what I mean. I have to remember that good old Sandshrew is up to the same level as the rest of the team, so I don't have to just use Sandshrew this entire video. But you'd like to, Margo. <laughs> well, no, I would. I always like switching up. Yeah, I need mean, the Sentrits. We put Tokopi back in the box. Yeah. Tokopi's useless, I can't just knock you around. If anyone wants to fight me on that, they feel free. Gen 4. Well, I, I don't have any problem with Tokopi Kiss. Tokopi Kiss is a nice Pokemon. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't use Tokopi Kiss in this generation. Yeah. Now, Tokusik I never really used. I always tried it out when I can. It's just like, you lose interest in it so fast because Tokopi's so hard to grind and Tokodex doesn't have anything special. Plus, I don't like Tokodex's design. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Togekiss' design either, but, you know, it's a cool Pokemon that has some good things it can do, especially in Gen 6 when it picked up a Fairy type. I was going to say it didn't it pick up, yeah, so Fairy Flying, that's an interesting typing. Yeah. Didn't it have a decent ability in Gen 4? Oh, well, it still has it. It's got an old Serene Grace, doubling the odds of triggering a status, uh, secondary effect on your moves. Most notably, this means that uh, Token Kiss would paralyze you with Thunder Wave, and then you start spamming Air Slash, which has a 30% chance to flinch, which gets doubled. Yep. Can be unfun. But that's when you just throw out your ground type and laugh at them with their attempts at Thunder Wave. Or any other things. Or you just throw a bunch. Make it shift out, get it back into rocks. Well, you can. It's, it's not. It's never gonna KO it. Depends if you set up enough rocks. You can only do one layer of stealth rocks. Okay. Or am I thinking? Oh, if you can do multiple layers of stealth rocks, it'd be even more broken than it already is. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Right. Stealth rocks was a mistake to make. Change my mind. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't play a ton of competitive Pokemon battling, but I, I read about it and keep up to date. Stealth Rocks, I think, was a mistake. 
That's bad. Oh, it, I don't think it's as bad as it used to be, but there was a point where your validity on a team is entirely decided based on how much damage you take yourself for. And I think that's bad game design in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Let me think of uh, spikes. Spikes is a little bit different because, you know, they have to set up multiple layers for it to be good. There's, uh... Toxic you, variant. Well, that's not what I was gonna say. Like, you, you can bring in flying types and they don't get affected at all by spikes, so there's a little bit of strategy there. Yeah. Remember, kids, spikes do not affect Gyarados. And the real lesson is, you let Gyarados get multiple dragon dances without doing damage, you hurt yourself. I like how you keep talking about that, like Gyarados is something special. You let any Pokemon set up multiple times, it's gonna... True. That's Here's true. the thing, Tyler, I'm sorry to tell you this, Gyarados is not special. Well, we're gonna see later on that maybe it is. Yeah, it's still not special because it's not the only Pokemon that's like that. It is to you me. Just, you, you just are having a rational love for Gyarados, just in that. I heart Gyarados. One of these days you need to actually use a Gyarados and prove your love for it. Gen 3. There you go. There we go. Yeah, Gen 3 I'll do the grass starter. There you go. And finally, when we get like a... Well, eh, Bulbasaur's fine. Bulbasaur's fine. Chikorita sucks. It's not so much that Chikorita's like terrible, it's just... Like, it has this common problem that a lot of Pokemon in Ooh, the early flinch. gens have, which is mediocre move pool. But Chikorita also has the massive disadvantage of being weak to the first two gyms. Yeah. Sure, Char Charmander was the same in Gen 1, but, you know, it's a dragon lizard awesomeness. Yep. Mr. Uh, Chikorita doesn't have anything to really... Chikorita doesn't have... Any advantage to gyms at all, it helps with one Pokemon in the fifth gym. No, I just mean, like, in terms of design, mm -hmm. the Chikorita line doesn't really have a ton going for it, though, with Garner and popularity. Yep. Huzzah, pop the balloon. Alrighty then. That was a fun clearing out of a bunch of trainers. Time. The not so fun part. Ah, I'll be fine. Ah, I am Whitney. My best friend is Satan, and it is a cow. She's good. You're not good. You're terrible. You lean so heavily on your mill tank. You use it as a crutch. Don't even, don't even lie. Well, the Clefairy is nothing. Well, that, it all that, depends that if it very much looks like it's flipping you off, though. Yeah. I don't think I've made mention of this in earlier parts, but Crystal, you get the little animations. Ah, crap, I don't know. Okay, thank you. I once had it do sacred fire to me, so... Ho ho the moon. It's fine. When you throw a weeping battle, it's not. Yeah, and it could have hit flamethrower, and it would have been the same. Psycho. One of the very few moves in Pokemon that I actually do not ever know what it does. Yeah, I have no idea what it's going to Playing with you all. A new move, at least. That's like Cup's a new move, too. And we hit with Fury Swipes. Yay. Two, two, three, please. Good job. You didn't let me down. Four five. Tyler. <laughs> Whipped. And now, what many people... Eight. You would think that I would have a problem with Miltang, based on how I've been talking about it, but I never, I don't remember ever having, like, massive issues, and I don't know why. I only had issues because I used Cyndaquil out on this thing. Yeah, but I always did too, and I don't remember having trouble with Miltang. But, when I, more of my runs that is, I used Bellsprout. <laughs> or my Marie line. Aw, uh, flinch. Well, one down, three left. We got one accuracy drop on it. Yeah. Not a poison. Put it to sleep. 
Oh wow, it's faster. Ah, tracked. Yeah. Alex, you fell in love. Yo, we play. Do we have any heals on our team? Here it is. Yes, I don't think so. Huh, you can't tell. I think you have to go on stats. Oh, we'll just switch. Clear out that attraction. Am I a girl? Did I not notice that? No, I'm a boy. I would have laughed if you <laughs> Well, I remember thinking about it before, and I was like, well, if it's a girl, you just name it Michelle instead. But, I completely forgot to even check. Let's see how long that milk tank decides to stay asleep for. Well, it did me a hole. Ah, you stopped the wrong area. It's not using its other two move yet. We've seen it use attract and stumble. <laughs> and that's all it's going to use right now. Apparently. Well, depending on how the AI is designed, it might not be able to use. Yay. More sleep. I wish I had something to lower its speed, but... I didn't realize that it was as fast as it was, but... It's all good, I think. It's holding a quick claw. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> Oop. Pop it in the head. Alright, stay asleep. This Pokemon gave me trouble, but it's the next gym leader that really gave me trouble. Oof. No, oh, not the punch. Missed. No. Never lucky. Let's see. Well, so far, Miltank has definitely been living up to its uh, potential. Well, let's see if it's going to use the move. I think it's going to... Oh. I can use that one. Thought it was gonna use. Why are you being so coy about it? Uh, say the name of the move. Milk drink. That's what it is. I couldn't remember. I, did, I wanted to say recover, but I know it's not recover, but. That's what makes it annoying. It attract any male type. But I know, like, in, in somewhere in Celadon. Oh, okay. Or not Celadon, uh. Goldenrod? Goldenrod, thank you. I don't know why I'm blanking on names today. More so than usual. Um, you can, if you catch an Abra right outside Goldenrod, you can trade it for a Machop and it'll be a female, I believe. Makes sense. Because when you look at Machop and its various evolutions, you definitely think female. Ah, finally that accuracy boost is coming in uh, for me. Yep. Meanwhile, you can take some stat drops, because it makes sense to make you drop stats. <laughs> oh, oh, look at oh, crit. Uh, crit. Storm. Bad. Bad build time. So, I don't know, maybe this is going to be a pain. We'll see. Yeah, we got Uh-oh. This could make things difficult. Oh, good. I'll double check. No, I have no idea. Damn strategy using the whole thing. Yep. Yay. I'm not blinded by love. Isn't it immobilized by love? Whatever. I'm saying blinded because... You can? It's a phrase that makes sense. Oh, Stricken milk again. Do you have the quick claw equipped to him? Yep. Come on, damn claw. It doesn't really matter if the claw triggers or not. Because that will just happen. Okay, it's infatuation. Damn flesh. Alright, so I guess I came into this a little too cocky. Yeah. Alright, let me just try again. No! Faster? No. Thank it. 
Yep. Ha ha ha. Nope. Nope. Unlucky. Alright, Bellspur, you got this. This will work, right? Nope. Well, I'm a little too big for my britches, apparently. Oh, and now Joey's gonna rub it in our faces. Oh god. He's the only one I have. I'm going to become a great trainer with it. No, you're not. Now to do it again. Yes. Ah, oh, damn stupid guy in my way. Alrighty. Let's friggin' take care of her. Huh? We got another egg. But actually it's gonna be an Iggly buff. Call him it. Ha ha! <laughs> so good at predicting. It's not like we... <laughs> Hatched it multiple times off screen because I wanted to see what it was going to be before we caught Sandra. Yeah. Because I was interested in using a Magpie. But no, it had to be an Iggly buff. More like an Alec Kid or something. Cool. Or actually, even, I would have accepted a Smoocho. Just because it's an interesting type. Typing, nice psychic. But alas. Alright, let's uh. Can you mock my navigational skills. Let's get beat up by uh. by a cow again. I feel like she got pretty lucky with her flinches though, too, so. Yeah, but she never used that fourth move, which is her own one. The entire reason why I went for the. good old mud slap on it. Yeah. Maybe I should have let the song up in the for that reason. Double slap. Okay, I only hit two times. I just had a double slap hitting five times because of all the sense that makes. Mimic. Well, fairy learn quick attack. Well, I'm still gonna be faster if you quick attack. Yes. Alrighty then. And now to deal with the I think trying to get a couple mud slaps off is not a bad idea. Well, it's exactly what I tried to do last time, but it flinched me like twice and I was lower on health because Clefairy actually did stuff. And here's the rollout. Starts out weak. Oh, you got a crit. But of course, much like Fury Cutter, rollout gets steadily faster, but then if you miss, you lose all that progress. The big difference being that, uh, rollout forces you to continue using the move, whereas... If you're a cutter, you get the option to... Yeah. Let's check down the gym before it goes into rollout. Oh, come on, that's three accuracy drops. Yeah. But that's how games work, don't you know? Is rolling off the percent accurate or is it one? Of those? I'm pretty. I think it's like 85 or something. We're gonna use a sacrificial bell sprout because I can. That's five moves. I think was that for four or five? I think it was five. We'll see. I think we're gonna go for the poison powder instead of the sleep this time. So, so we're constantly hitting damage. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> yeah, well, you, when, when you're right, you're right. Chip away at that uh, Your health. Even if it does yeah. heal on the turn, you're at least doing damage. Yeah. Not much. Actually, you know what? We're gonna abuse the fact that she can't switch and wouldn't switch anyway if she could. Pile on the stat drops. There we go. And if it can she's miss, probably well, of course. Yeah. So it's just so it's a layer. layer. Wow, seriously? I should have gone for an attack, because I would have just won there. Oh well, poison's doing its thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, 
and Lou failed at it anyway. This time we won't. Yeah, now there's the melt train. It's like she knew that the uh, infatuation would work, so she didn't go for the melt train. It's like it's a computer that cheats. Yeah. This one's gonna work. I don't think. Oh well. Let's get that infatuation off. Might not end up working properly, but. You gotta dig me a hole. Politic nerd in it. That's what I'm thinking yeah. of. I'm trying the to Simpsons. remember what I, I... I sing that little tap tune uh, every time I do steak and I can never remember what it's from. Yeah, it's the Simpsons. Because it's, it's uh, the one where they do the archaeological thing. I think it's the same one where they find the angel. Mm. I remember. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it's, uh, oh, all okay. honor students are treated to a dig. All mi misbehavior and bad nicks. <laughs> <laughs> Are treated to mandatory work. To me. Oh, so many milk drinks. At least you're doing damage, though. Yeah, but it's not accumulating. It's not toxic poison. Yeah. Well, if it was toxic, we would have won by now. Alright. all the tracks. It's not very good, but it is time consuming, and that makes it annoying. Just use a leer once. I just want one leer on it. Or at least stop nest. Yep. Since it's, uh, it's drinking its own milk and we've poisoned it. Yeah, that would. <laughs> you would think the milk wouldn't help. The milk is poisoned milk and kills itself. Yeah. Finally. We'll take you Shakespeare tragedy. We got that leer off. Now we're just gonna play the switching game. To get rid of the track then. Yeah. Hit it when on the turns it uses milk drink or stop or roll out and then when it goes for the So since it knows roll out, is Mill Tank an Autobot then? Obviously. This is oh, why I never tracks. use Mill Tank. Decepticon for life. Autobots are the best, and everyone knows it. Chip some damage in. Oh, no. Hashtag long drawn out battle. Yeah. Sadly, it is. It'd be nice if, you know, Milk Drink actually followed its normal rules and didn't uh, have more than 5 dp. But Where the computers have infinite power points, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, oh. the flinch. Alright, we're gonna go for it. No, no miss. Alright, here's hoping no milk drink. Attract, that's not milk drink. Better put poison. Scratch, do enough damage. Woohoo! We got there. Yeah. It was a long and difficult journey, but we beat up the cow. There you go. And me and Alex got a level up. Yeah. And we beat Whitney. And now she starts crying. Ugh. Another reason why people don't like Whitney is because she is... You would think a gym leader would be able to handle it if she lost, but apparently not. And sadly, she's not the only gym leader in this gym. Oh, yeah. Another one makes you do a stupid test. At least this one is just, you know, talk to another person. But at least with the one with the test one, you get a free Pokemon of that type if you answer the questions right. Now oh, we can use Strength out of battle now. And we get TM45. Even though Good Strength luck. is not the greatest of move, it's still a decent power move. It definitely got a lot worse in Gen 2, but oh. not as bad as it gets in Gen 5. What, why does it get worse in Gen 2? Return was introduced to the Return TM, oh. which is just better than Strength, but you can right. only use one. So you can give Strength to your Pokemon that you don't give Return to. 
But then in Gen 5, you get infinite use TM, so there's no reason not to just give every Pokemon on your team a turn. Turn. Anyways, I think we've forced you to watch us play games long enough. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry for losing and subjecting you to two battles against Whitney. Yeah, who's Pokemon Master now? I know, I'm terrible and I should, I should hang up. <laughs> Heck, you get out of here. To the right. There we go, found the exit. Oh, I think that's enough for now. Yes, it is. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>